let's put to use whatever we have learned and solve this problem. We have I N D E P E N D E N C E independence. We have letters from the word independence and we want to figure out these things. First, find the total number of rearrangements and then figure out in how many of these do the words start with P? In how many of these do the words begin with P and end with I? In how many of these do all the vowels always occur together? And in how many of these do all the vowels never occur together? Going through this problem will help you refresh all the concepts that you have studied so far in this chapter. And once you're done with this, try this challenge. The challenge is to figure out in how many of these rearrangements there are always three letters between P and I. We'll pick this one in the next video. We'll try solving all of these in this one. So pause the video. First, try this on your own. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start with the first one. Find the total number of rearrangements. We have a lot of letters, but some of them repeat. Let's spot them out. We have N and N and N, and then we have D and then we have another D, and then we have a lot of E's. We have one, two, three, four, four E's. So this is what we have. We have I, P, C, and then we have three N's, and then two D's, and then four E's. So how do we arrange these? Well, because there are repetitions, life is not good. Let's assume that the life is good. Let's assume that all of them are distinct. This gives us how many letters? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This gives us 12 letters. If all of them were different, we would have these number of ways. But now we have to correct our mistakes. We'll correct for three N's, two D's and four E's. We'll correct for all three of them. So when we correct for three N's, we'll divide it by 3, 2, 1. When we correct it for two D's, we'll divide it by two into one. And when we correct it for four E's, we'll divide it by four into three into two into one. And if you punch these numbers in the calculator, you'll get these many ways. There are roughly 16 lakh ways to arrange the letters of the word independence. All right, let's pick the next one. We have to figure out in how many of these roughly 16 lakh arrangements do the words start with the letter P. So how do we solve this one? Think about it. So this is P and these are the rest of the letters. Now, if you have to start with P, this means the constraint is on P. This means that the P is fixed, but only P is fixed. The rest of them, the rest of these 11 can still move around. So let's put a pin on P and forget about it. Let's arrange the rest of them. Assuming that they're all different, we have 11 letters, which means these number of ways, but we also have to correct the answer. We'll correct for three N's, two D's and four E's. So let's do that. For three N's, we divide by three, two, one. For two D's, we divide by two into one. And for four E's, we divide by four, three, two, one. And if you punch this one, you'll get these many ways. 1.38 lakh ways. All right, let's pick the next one. In how many of these do we have words that start with P and end with I? So there is a constraint on P. P has to be the first letter. And there is a constraint on I. I has to be the last letter. So let's actually do that. We start with P and end with I. Let's fix these two and only worry about the rest of them. So these are the rest of the letters. So what we're doing is we're pinning P and I. These two are fixed. They will not move. We don't even have to consider them as part of our word. We have a shorter word to rearrange. That word has only 10 letters. These 10 can still move around. So how many ways to do that? Well, assuming they are different, these many ways and then we make room for correction this is what we get and if we simplify we get only 12,600 ways so from 16 lakhs we're down to 12,000 all right let's take the next one we have independence and this time the constraint is all the vowels need to occur together so this means bundling is going on let's see where the vowels are we have i e e e and e we have five vowels so we assume that they're together We'll form a bundle and we'll call it a new letter. Let's call it heart. How many letters go in the bundle? Five of them. We have I, E, E, E and E. Because we want to make sure that all of them are always together, we consider them as a single letter and we call it heart. Now, how many letters are we dealing with? We have the consonants and then we have our heart. So we have four and four. We have eight letters. How many ways to arrange them? Assume that they're all different. We have this number and then make room for correction. We divide for two D's and three N's. So this is what we get. 
and if we simplify, we get 3,360 ways. But we now have to correct for our bundling, we have to unbundle this back as well. We can arrange these 8 letters in 3,360 ways, but let's unbundle this. Unbundling this will give us I, E, 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 E. And in how many ways can they arrange themselves? Well, this is a sub problem. We can assume that all five of them are different. So we'll get these many ways and then we'll make room for correction. We correct for all four E's. So we divide this by four, three, two, one. And simplifying, this gives us five ways. So whenever we open this bundle, we get five different arrangements. These are those five arrangements. So each bundle is giving us five words. We have these many bundles. So to get the total number of words, we multiply this with this and we get our answer. That's 16,800 ways. So these are the number of ways to arrange the letters of independence such that all the vowels are always together. All right, let's pick the last one. Independence. And we are arranging such that all the vowels are never together. Well, there's a very efficient way to do this. To find the cases where they're never together, let's find the total number of cases and subtract from this the cases where they're always together. And guess what? We actually have the answer for both of them. We've figured out the total number of ways. That's roughly 16 lakhs. And we know the number of red cases as well. We can arrange them where they're always together in roughly 16,000 ways. So if we subtract red from blue, we should get yellow. So the cases where they're never together are roughly 16.46 lakh. That's roughly 99% of the total cases. Good job if you figured all of this out. I'll see you in the next video with the challenge problem.